Initially known as Old Beach, Nyland was established as a stop on the Southern Pacific Railroad. Over time, as the Salton Sea began to form due to flooding from the Colorado River in the early 1900s, the settlement shifted locations to higher ground and was later renamed in honor of a railway station agent, Joseph Nyland. The very creation of the Salton Sea next to Nyland is itself an example of human miscalculation and nature's unpredictability. This accidental lake was formed due to engineering mistakes while trying to increase water flow to areas for farming, making the entire region a testament to both human innovation and the unforeseen consequences it can bring. As of the last figures in 2023, Nyland's population hovers below 1,000 residents. Despite its small size, the town boasts a diverse population, with many of its residents having deep ties to the area. The sense of community is strong here, as one might expect in such an intimate setting. Historically, Nyland's economy was anchored in agriculture. The Imperial Valley, in which Nyland resides, is renowned for its fertile grounds, made possible by the Colorado River's irrigation. As a result, vast stretches of farmlands producing crops like lettuce, broccoli and wheat surround the town. However, with the environmental concerns of the Salton Sea, rising salinity and dwindling fish population, there has been a noticeable impact on the local economy. As the sea's health declined, so did its appeal as a recreation spot, further impacting the region's economic vitality. Nyland might be small, but its proximity to several intriguing spots makes it a point of interest for many. The town is located right next to the Salton Sea. Once a bustling vacation destination in the 1950s, the Salton Sea is now a hauntingly beautiful testament to environmental change. It offers a surreal landscape that attracts photographers and nature lovers alike. The famous Slab City is located just four miles to the northeast. Called the last free place in America, this off-grid squatter community is a testament to alternative living. Built on the remnants of a Second World War Marine base, Slab City is a confluence of art and freedom. Close to Slab City, Salvation Mountain is a vibrant art installation created by Leonard Knight. With its myriad of colors and the powerful message of love and devotion, it serves as a beacon of hope and has been featured in numerous documentaries and films. The climate in Nyland is quintessentially desert-like. Summers are scorching, with temperatures up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters, in contrast, are quite mild and can be the best time for tourists to explore the region. Despite its harshness, the beauty of the desert landscape, especially during sunrise and sunset, is unmatched. Beyond the more widely known attractions, Nyland has its share of lesser known but equally intriguing facts. The town once boasted a therapeutic hot spring, drawing visitors seeking its healing waters. While the Salton Sea's health is a concern, it has become a crucial pit stop for migratory birds, making it a bird watcher's paradise during certain times of the year. The area surrounding Nyland has been used for various film shoots, leveraging its unique landscapes. Overall, Nyland is more than just a town near the Salton Sea. It's a testament to the tenacity of human spirit, the ever-evolving dance between humans and nature, and the beauty that can emerge from the most unexpected places. Whether you're an art enthusiast, a history buff, or someone looking to understand the deeper narratives of Californian towns, Nyland is a chapter you wouldn't want to miss.